Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. Today I thought I'd take you through my Dan Electro Food Series pedal board with an additional Dan Electro Dano wire on it. I know a few people will like to see a video like this because these pedals are very well loved. So let's quickly go through the pedal board and jump into the sounds. So here is the board here. Let's go through the signal chain before we have a listen to it. We have the Dan Electro Dano Wah, which looks like a car and sounds pretty cool for a wah, except for the fuzz section, which we'll go through. It's an interesting fuzz section. We have the Dan Electro French Fries Auto Wah, which is a pretty cool auto wah. I'm not fantastic playing with an auto wah because I'm not very touch sensitive, but it is what it is. It's very cool. Similar colour, we got the Dan Electro Chili Dog Octave, which is a Boss OC2 sort of clone. It's pretty cool. Sounds great. Nice analog octave. The Dan Electro Chicken Salad Vibrato, which is a Univibe and has the really cool light bulb kind of Univibe circuit, the traditional circuit. Sounds really cool. A lot of people rehouse these because it is a normal or traditional, I guess, analog Univibe circuit with the light bulb. Very cool pedal. These two are becoming a bit harder to find and a lot of people rehouse these two in particular. So let's move on to this one. The French Toast Octave Distortion, which is actually an octave fuzz. As you can see, no indicator light because it's got too many controls, but it sounds very cool. Then we go up to the Dan Electro Fish and Chips 7 band EQ, which does what all good EQ pedals should. The Dan Electro Black Licorice Beyond Metal pedal, which is an insane name and it sounds equally insane. Then we have the Rocky Road Spinning Speaker, which is really cool, emulates the sort of rotary speaker sound, has some really cool controls as well to achieve that. Very cool that there's a pedal like this for so cheap. And lastly, we have the Dan Electro Peanut Butter and Jelly Delay Pedal. A digital delay with a long and short mode. Sounds very cool, very functional. As are a lot of pedals on this board really, which is uh, funny because altogether, they make some crazy unorthodox and not very usable sounds. But there you go. So let's go through the sounds of this board now. Let me know what you think of this board in the comments section below. And I guess other than that, I'll see you after the sound demos or I might just see you in the next video. Cheers guys. Okay, so here's our Dan Electro board on the floor. Let's go through uh, one pedal at a time to start. So let's start with our Dano Wah over here, which just sounds like any other good wah pedal. <laughs> Now you do have different modes of wah, so I think you've got some rock sounds and then some funk sounds on this side or whatever. So just different flavours of wah. Anyway, it just does a wah sound. It's pretty cool. It looks really cool, of course but it does have this crazy fuzz sort of effect in there. So let's have a listen to that. So, oh, oh here, here we go with the wire then. So that's a really bizarre sound to have in a wire. It's a very bizarre wire. It's got a bunch of different wire sounds as well as the octave fuzz. It's actually the same fuzz circuit as our French toast octave distortion fuzz over here. Just not as good and knowing you the control you have over the actual fuzz sound. But you know, it's a funky wire pedal, I guess. Let's move on to the French fries. So this is the auto wire. Wow. 
So it does the auto wire thing. I'm never great playing auto wires because I tend to play really hard. I'm not very good at playing super sensitive with the guitar, but there you go. Does the wire thing pretty good, I think. Funky pedal. Let's move on to the Chili Dog Octave. So this is a Boss OC2 clone, apparently. So a all analog octave pedal. So again, funky sounds, fun sounds, does its thing. The chicken salad vibrato, which is actually a univibe. I love this pedal a lot. <laughs> We can lower the intensity and maybe the speed a bit. Great pedal. It's an actual uh, photo light bulb, photo cell light bulb thing. I don't know what it's called, but it's an actual light bulb univibe circuit, which is pretty cool. All right, French Toast Fuzz Distortion. So this is what I said was in this pedal, or the circuit anyway, but it sounds a lot better here because you have a lot more control over it. Let's start with the octave off. Pop the octave on. So there's no indicator light whether it's on or off because it's got too many controls which is kind of crazy, but it's a very cool sounding pedal. A lot of people rehouse that pedal, which I think makes a lot of sense. Fish and Chips EQ, I don't know what it's set to. It might've been bumped into those settings for all I know, but let's have a listen. <laughs> does what any good EQ pedal should. But let's move on to the Black Licorice Beyond Metal pedal. Now this pedal is a whole lot of fun. It has a level and a bass control. There is no distortion control present. It's a preset distortion. It also has an octave switch, which we'll switch in. <laughs> So that's with the octave out, let's switch it in. So that 
that's a ton of fun, that pedal. Let's move on to the Rocky Road Spinning Speaker. So this has a speed control, a drive control, and a ramp switch, which you can change for a fast or slow ramp. So let's have a listen to that. <laughs> So you can hear the ram switch kind of brings the speed up as it's, you know, as I'm sure you guessed, let's change it to slow ramping. So you could really hear it getting faster then, uh, which is pretty cool. If you crank the drive, you've got a fair bit of drive in there, which is fun. There's a bit of a dud note at the end there, but you get the idea. That's a very fun pedal. It's pretty cool that you can get a uh, rotary or spinning speaker emulator at such an affordable price. The Dan Electro PB and J Delay is the last one on our board. So mix, speed, repeats. I believe it's a digital delay. Uh, and you can also change it from a long and short delay. So I'm not sure what it's on now. So that sounds like a long delay. So I've just changed the repeats. I haven't changed the speed, but this is that same speed on the short setting. Same speed on the long setting. And the short setting. So you can kind of do some more ambient delays or you've got your sort of country rockabilly slapback sort of thing. That's a pretty uh, unique take on a affordable delay pedal and it sounds pretty cool I think. So let's start uh, combining some pedals, get some unique sounds. So I'm just going to do that as I go. Let's start with these two.
So as you can hear, it makes some pretty stupid sounds as well, which is a lot of fun. That's kind of all this pedal board does really. And you know, that's what makes it great. <laughs> so there you have it. That's my Dan Electro food series board featuring a Dano wire just for a bit of fun. Please let me know what you think of it in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video.